here we are demonstrating a live hip arthroscopic surgery we can appreciate that we are making an anterior portal viewing by a anterior lateral portal what you can appreciate here is an intense inflammation of the capsular tissue we secure our portals by putting a half cannula and then we will be releasing the capsule both anteriorly and laterally to make the movements of our instruments easy you can see a significant inflammatory reaction in the capsule and you can see a little bit of freeing in the labrum also which is the result of a little bit of femoral impingement that this patient has so once we are through with the radio frequency device we can use shaver as well to increase the capsulotomy on the anterior lateral and anterior medial aspect this capsulotomy will be also uh, will be will make your uh, surgery easier because the shoulder uh, the hip will become lax and it is also a therapeutic measure because it will release and decrease the pain you can see that apart from the uh, femoral acetabular impingement there is a little bit of condyle flakes inside the hip joint which is suggestive of a, some sort of a synovial chondromatosis the capsulotomy is increased on the lateral aspect we increase or, or extend the capsulotomy on the lateral aspect of the hip and this will make our work much much easier uh, this is a beaver plate which is a very useful device to uh, do the capsulotomy and by this we can do a very thorough capsulotomy, a very sharp cut clean capsulotomy we can perform in a very very nice way. So this is a beaver plate which we use for making the capsulotomy. Once this much of capsulotomy is done and our portals are secured, here we can see that the psoas can be visualized on the anterior part of the capsule. There may be some bleeding points there which needs to be coagulated. But you can very well nicely see the psoas muscle here. And this is the region of the cam lesion which needs to be uh, demarcated nicely with the radio frequency device initially. And after that, once you have done this thorough demarcation, uh, of the extent of your resection superior inferior middle and lateral and then you can uh, you can use your burr and the shaver to do the cam resection the cam resection is performed in the region you can make a little bit of flexion in the hip joint for doing the cam resection and you can use your burr to do the resection uh, be very mindful of the resection because this resection needs to be perfect half pipes are very useful at this stage because we do you need to switch off the instruments one by one so once you switch off the instruments one by one these cam lesions can be divided sequentially with the shaver bar and the radio frequency devices so as i told you you need to be very very uh, peculiar you don't have to resect too much you need not to resect too little you need to just resect the exact amount of the cam lesion you may need to use your cautery too often because this this is a region which will bleed and once you do a dissection you can actually go to the posterior and the interior aspect of the neck uh, the hip anatomy as such you have a very nice hip space anteriorly uh, at the level of the neck whereas the capsule attachment is more proximal on the posterior aspect so you have a narrow region on the posterior aspect but a broad region on the anterior neck as aspect so the peripheral compartment so if you use your shaver here you can actually use it as a detractor to go and enter into the peripheral compartment so this you can see here that you can see that this is the level of the anterior neck and we can just elevate the capsule using the shaver blade as a detractor and if there are any loose bodies or anything into the neck you can very very well go and identify it at that place so this is the peripheral compartment you are seeing and this is the reason of the zona orbicularis there is a circular fibers of the capsule so if joint is a thick capsule but if you do a, a nice uh, sort of a resection you can see all these structures very nicely 
so once once you get a good visualization hip arthroscopy becomes a very very rewarding surgery in most of these cases so this is the anterior neck and the head of the uh, uh, this is the resected part of the cam and you need to make a resection of about 2 to 3 cm and about uh, about 5 to 8 mm deep of the cam resection and this is the area of the neck this is the posterior part of the neck which is actually a little less and you can see these condyle flakes which are moving around which i was discussing with you that these are sort of a synovial contumentosus so you can see the posterior vascular elements as well in the posterior capsular tissue and this as i told you is the anterior region of the zona orbicularis that is a peripheral compartment of the hip joint we can do we can uh, we can see after exposing a thick hip capsule of the hip. now this is the central part this is the acetabular cartilage you can see pelvis are in the center and you can see that there is a, there is a large area large flakes a big area of small small contral fragments such as the of synovial chondromatosis and this is also it is there is also a small contral lesion on the top of the femoral head so in the center of the femoral head you have a lesion the right there there is a big contral lesion there are fragments of synovial chondromatosis which are seen you can use your shaver blade to actually suck and remove this sort of synovial chondromatosis element here we are using a curved shaver blade for this particular purpose and while using and now it is very imperative because you need to reach to the center of the compartment we are making a posterior lateral portal very carefully keeping care of the sciatic nerve and this is you make it in the vision with the calculated reamer calculated uh, uh, spinal needle and with using a posterior lateral portal we can actually remove all those fragments of this synovial chondromatosis which is lying in the center at the acetabular cartilage you can see the inflamed capsule on the posterior lateral compartment as well as i told a curved shaver blade is very important for this purpose because this will actually help uh, to clean all the synovial chondromatosis tissue from there so you can see that this this is a bulk of the synovial chondromatosis tissue which is there you on the suction of the shaver and remove all these uh, synovial chondromatosis tissue from there uh, once you remove that you will be able to see the contral that loss that it has done at the center of the uh, area so there is a small area of contral loss at the tip uh, at the center of the hip uh, cartilage and which needs to be resected thoroughly so once you do this these are the fragments which we need to reset so here you can see that these are small small uh, fragments of cartilage which are there this is very important for us you can see that this is a classical book picture of a contral lesion along with the synovial chondromatosis fragment that are seen right there at the tip at the center of the hip uh, hip cartilage and these needs to be resected very nicely once you, once you are in with the shaver be very very careful and watchful to do this very adequately you need to remove all the fragments which are there uh, thoroughly to uh, do a very good resection so once you uh, once you are done you are removing all these fragments you will be very secure regarding the uh, removal of the uh, removal of these fragments and you can see on the right hand side of my screen there is a large contral lesion large uh, defect on the tip of the hip capsule so all in all this is a very very rewarding surgery for these patients and by doing this surgery you can actually delay the hip arthritis and if, if done at the right space these fai and synovial chondromatosis case you can save the hip from hip replacement if you do it at the right time so the most important thing is early identification of these uh, these problems these uh, ailments and to uh, approach them at the right time if you do this most of these patients will have a very nice uh, and a quick smooth recovery and it is of the minimal invasive nature of this uh, uh, approach or this uh, technique leads to a very fast recovery occasionally we might need to put patients for not made for some days but eventually the patients will go on to have a very very nice and uh, detailed good recovery if you have any more questions pertaining to hip arthroscopy do please free, uh, feel free to ask us on the comment box thanks a lot